Hi, I'm Richard, and in this quick start video, I'm going to show you how you can overlap motions with K-Sketch to make animations like this man jumping over a rolling rock. Let's start by creating a new animation and drawing a rock and a man. Now, you saw in the previous video how you can select something, tap on it, and perform an animation. Now, if I want to make the man jump over the rock, I just have to do the same thing, right? Select, tap, and move. Okay, let's play that. Now, what's wrong? The rock moves first, and then the man. But they're supposed to move at the same time. A lot of first-time K-Sketch users make this mistake. The problem is that I didn't drag the time slider back to the beginning before I animated the man. So he starts moving after the rock finishes moving. This is why you should always check where the time slider is before you animate something. This is also a good reason to play your animation often and check to see what it looks like. Okay, so let's fix this. I'm going to drag the time slider back to the beginning, tap the man to select him, and tap to perform a new motion. Now what do you think the rock will do when we do this? And what do you think will happen to the man's old motion? Let's try it. Mm, boing. There, you see? When I perform this motion, the rock moves just like it did when I played it earlier. That's how I knew when to make the man jump. So what happened to the first motion I performed? Well, let's play the animation and see. There, the man's other motion is gone. That's because performing a motion on something will erase any of its later motions. Okay, so what if we want to make this rock spin while it's moving? Well, the easiest way to do that is to move the time slider to the end of the motion and adjust it by dragging this spin ring. Let's give it a couple of turns and see what we've got. Not bad. Adjusting things like this is a really easy way to overlap moves, spins, and resizes. Now, we could stop here, but I think the rock is moving a little too fast. When I adjusted the rock, I couldn't feel how fast it was spinning. If you want to feel how fast it's spinning, you can perform the spin instead. So here we go. Select, tap, and zip. Okay, let me switch to a still image so you can get a better look at what just happened. My finger stayed on the left, spinning this ghost image, while the rock moved to the right. This helped me focus my attention on spinning the rock at the right speed. Let me do that again so you can watch. Tap and zip. Boom. Now let's play the whole thing. Much better. Give it a try yourself and let us know what you think. You can find out more at ksketch.smu.edu.sg.